Okay, so um, we had those uh, those rounds at the Resorts World, and um, do you want to carry on from there? Yes. Um, so yeah, so after the after part one, part part one was done, um, they announced each where everyone placed in each different round. Because what they did this year is, if you placed in the top 15 in any round, you gained a star, um, and that basically then the girl with the most stars coming to the end of part, part two would then be placed in the top 20. Um, so I was fortunate enough to, I came 11th in the sports round, 6th uh, in the general knowledge quiz, which is the one I was <laughs> so happy about. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> normally when it comes to exams or tests yeah. in any form of anything, I tend to forget my name, <laughs> like I forget everything. <laughs> so I was happy about that one. Um, and yeah, I placed in the top 15 for the publicity award, which was obviously very good because I won the publicity award last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was a good one. And yeah, so I got in the top 15 for the top model, um, which again I was very happy about. Yeah, like, sure, didn't yeah. for the petite people at work. No, sport. definitely, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's forgotten if there was any others at the moment, but no, no, for now, no, no, and the beach beauty the, Oh, yeah. 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 Which is for your own self esteem. Yeah, which I thought, yeah. I don't normally like to, on holidays I can, I'll post a picture in a bikini, but anything to do with yeah. professionally, I don't tend to do it, um, but I've just submitted like a photograph from Sri Lanka, so it was just a fun, yeah. for my yeah. own confidence really, yeah. so to get in the top 15 for that I was very happy because when I was younger I just struggled a lot with body confidence, so it was, um, it was more of a courageous moment for me more than anything. So. I think that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, because I think the um, couple of the other girls who I was speaking to, they also decided it was really about uh, body confidence and feeling comfortable with your skin yeah, really and uh, stuff like that, not like it used to be. No, because yeah, if, there, if, if, oh, God, if there was, if it was part of Miss England that you have to be in a bikini, mm. I wouldn't no, be involved in it. I think a lot of girls wouldn't today. It's, no. not, it's not what it's all about today. No, anyway, it's really not. It? I mean, there are. I mean, if you have the confidence to do that, I think power to you. I personally, I just no. can't. <laughs> so. I, know, I think it's a bit outdated now as well because yeah, the, no. the new format is much better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so moving on from there, we had a couple of weeks, didn't we, before you um, yeah. went off up to Kellam Hall. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful place that was. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, a gorgeous place. And um, you were glamping. We were. <laughs> it's a right. beautiful hotel, and you were all outside the tent. <laughs> so, yeah. so, what was the glamping experience about? Wasn't well, really like, sure. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what to expect, really. I was expecting, kind of like, obviously, the style tents yeah. it was white that's all I was that's all I was yeah, expecting yeah. Um, but yeah when we got there it was this amazing setup it was fellows glamping that had set it all up and they made like a little village for us like it was like weird they had like little sticks and like wooden pieces that said welcome uh, Miss England 2018 or class of Miss England 2018 it was just really lovely it was yeah. personal and, um, and then they were situated like in a little circle so everyone was really close together and you're in a group of either, it's either two or four of you in a tent, okay. so it was quite spacious in there really. Like yeah. you weren't, you're expecting tiny little like sleeping bags or something, <laughs> but you each had like a, um, a good sized blow up mattress and it was oh, raised and it was like this high off the ground. It was very luxurious. Right. <laughs> okay, so hence the glamping, yeah. Yeah, it was a bit cold in the night though, I think a couple of girls woke up with a cold. <laughs> Which I'm surprised I did because I normally catch a car like that. It wasn't that cold though, was it? Really? It, it was like it wasn't cold during the day, no. and at night it yeah, was true. a bit frosty. Yeah, okay. not frosty, but yeah. cold. <laughs> and who are your um, tent mates? So uh, Miss Manchester, um, Miss Black Country, and Miss White Forest. Oh, yeah. So yeah, because you know Miss White Forest, don't you? It's yeah. You came to your ball. In the West Midlands yeah, area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant, okay. So we had the glamping, which was sort of like in between the two days. Uh, the first day, which was uh, a real eye for me, was the uh, the eco round, where you were all in your eco dresses, and uh, I tell you what, there were some creations there. Yeah, I didn't know how they had to be <laughs> no, in the top no. 15, it must have been so hard. It must have been, because... They were insane, that time. Yeah, some of them, I mean, because there were bottles dropping off dresses all over the place, <laughs> and... Like actually figure it, like <laughs> to put it back in the recycling. <laughs> so um, yeah, do you want to talk a bit through the, the eco round and that? Uh, because obviously I think you were all interviewed through it as well, weren't you? Oh. We were, yeah. We were in different groups, and yeah. we each had that was our moment to kind of talk about how we made it, what was our inspiration behind it, and how long it took. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was it was really great to see everyone. You could tell how much hard work everyone had put into it, and when you speak to someone, you're like, oh, how long did that take you? And they'd be like like three weeks and you're like, I feel, yeah, exactly the same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so mine was um, 
predominantly made out of plastic bags. Yeah. Um, used plastic bags, not any from like yeah. the shop, obviously. Um, so I actually did, uh, each time I bought my dogs, I walk it in, um, walk it to walk them, <laughs> um, either in Sutton Park or at Tamworth. So every time I was around, like, by the lakes and by the rivers in Tamworth, yeah, um, there's loads of plastic there, yeah. and it was yeah. just, the, it, it'd be like caught in all the bushes, and yeah. it just looked so ugly, like, it's a beautiful place, and then, yeah, it just wasn't pretty, so I picked as much as I could have every single time that I was out yeah. there, and um, still doing that now, and yeah, all the plastic bags that I found, I recycled everything else, and all the plastic bags that I found, I would give them a good wash, <laughs> um, and then I'd iron them down to make them a, like, a much stronger material, yeah. it's amazing how I'm just quickly aligned, it makes it so strong, okay. and actually something that you can actually sew, oh, wow. um, so the bottom part of the dress was uh, cut it into the shapes to kind of resemble fish scales, yeah. and then um, using paint to just painted it an ombre effect so it was the like deep dark colours of the ocean at the bottom yes. and then as you get higher up it like tends like yes. goes to white um, and that was to kind of represent the like meant to be like the top like so like the beach basically like yes. the sand and everything yes. um, and yeah I'm probably explaining it very weirdly but there are some pictures all over Facebook there are I'll make sure I post all the pictures in the video so yeah it makes say. sense when you see it you're like oh that's yeah. okay I wasn't imagining that but yeah no it, it turned out really well to be fair it took a very long time um, and a lot of sewing and hitting and fingers. Yeah, my mum helped me a lot. So yeah, that was, it was, so when we got into, when we, I will say we, me and my mum, when we got into the top 15 yeah. <laughs> um, for the eco round, that was, that was just all I wanted. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, it was, it took so long and a lot of effort put into it. And it was because of going to Sri Lanka and when we visited a turtle sanctuary there, um, there was one turtle that swallowed that many plastic bags that I he couldn't swim anymore and he could only float. So I was like, that's the reason I wanted to use plastic yeah. bags. And that, that was the only piece of plastic I used, so that was kind of the whole reasoning behind yeah. it, because it was it was a it was a really, really good thing to experience to see firsthand what plastic is kind of doing. Good, to yeah, no definitely. Yeah, I mean so. it's frightening actually when you look at some of the pictures but, yeah, uh, exactly. especially out in the Far East. Yeah, the river's just clogged with plastic and kind of debris and it's just horrendous. Yeah. So that was, uh, that was on the first day, wasn't it? And then before you went to Zambia, I forgot, you uh, were throwing axes around and all sorts and of things, yeah. weren't you? So randomly really good at that. <laughs> yeah, don't stand in my way. <laughs> yeah. So that, was that just sort of like bits and pieces yeah, for you guys? Yeah, they just wanted to have a bit of fun in the yeah. evening for us. So like we had a bit of barbecue um, nice. and we did clay shooting. Not actual, it was like... Yes. Regular, yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, I got one. I had like... 17 goes and I, I got one thing wow. so I was like, got one thing <laughs> um, but yeah then the angle goes to the axe throwing and I was really good at that <laughs> yes you got your picture in a paper if I thought yeah there's a daily <laughs> mail for my axe throwing I look really angry now I'm like ah. it's that Viking heritage isn't it <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was that one. And then um, the following day, I think you spent most of the day with rehearsals, didn't you? And, uh, yes, it was, it was very full on. We had, yeah. to, we had to get really early and have our breakfast. And again, <laughs> had those of photos in the Daily Mail yeah. of us in our dressing gowns and just woken up and I'm like, I'm like half asleep, but it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, we went straight into rehearsals and from very early hours in the morning until about, I think it was half four, we finally were allowed yeah. to, well we had a little break, but yeah, yeah that's when we started getting ready, so it was a full jam-packed day of rehearsals, but it's all, it's all fun. Yeah, and then uh, we went into the finals, which was, to me, it was just amazing, I mean, having never seen anything like that before, and the way it was all set out, absolutely yeah. superb, and uh, we had, uh, yeah, Stephanie Hill was there, and the two guys, ex-Mr. England, yeah, both of them. Uh, so Chris Browns, uh, he's at Mr. England 2015. Current Mr. England, Jack, obviously couldn't come because he's, oh, yeah. you know, he's doing some amazing things with canoeing and everything. Yes, that's and, yeah, right, so yeah. he's very busy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I know we had um, Mr. He's next Mr. Leicestershire. Oh um, right. Linford, yeah, he's he's always the presenter. He's, he's yeah, they were good. They were uh, <laughs> they were quite funny actually. The pair. Yeah, they were a good little combo. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so we had the, the finals, and you did your. Um, had the, you were down in the modern dress to start with, weren't you? And then your eco dress. That's right. I had about 30 seconds to get changed out of my eco dress, so I had to literally rip it. I was like, yeah. <laughs> And then I had to get into the dress I was wearing for the top model round. Yeah. And then you. And then you had your the classic green dress that everybody's talking about. Uh, 
My baby. <laughs> oh, beautiful dress. I mean, I have to say, some of the dresses girls were absolutely stunning. It took it to another level yeah. of like standard of the dresses. Yeah, insane. absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, so we went through all of that, and then um, cut it down to the was it top fifteen? Top twenty. Top twenty, you made. Yeah, thankfully. And then um, <laughs> sort of top five. Yeah. We had the top five announced, and then obviously uh, the yeah, New York England. Her name is Skeptic, it's at the moment. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and that was basically the end of it. How did you feel when it had all come to an end? Because obviously you had quite a long wait from the finals till they actually announced the four positions for the yeah. top 20, didn't they? And eventually they did announce that you came. Yes, so they, they took a while to announce it, <laughs> and we were all sitting there just like, oh, please tell us. Uh, but yeah, eventually they announced it and I came sixth, so I'm very, very happy with that. <laughs> I, I think that's an amazing achievement because last year you were 11. Last year I came 12th. 12. So. I think that is an amazing achievement and I mean, it just, it's credit to you for all the hard work that you put in and everything else. I mean, absolutely, mate. Yeah, all the girls. Yeah, I think they all work so hard. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was the final set of six. And then just a quick side note from that, when we were talking the other day, you said that uh, unfortunately Miss Logan, who was quite highly placed in a number of races, she, um, Chiara, uh, she had to resign her position because yeah, of a modelling contract she's got. Yeah, I don't know um, what particularly it is, but she's been signed with a new agent, um, and I think she's really pushing her singing career. Um, oh. So she unfortunately has had to step down. She won three awards. Um, so Miss Billion Dollar Smile, Miss Premier Salon, and Miss Elite for Mind. So um, those they're looking for the neck. The <laughs> uh, they're looking for new yeah, people to take those, take those titles, to actually be yeah. able to yeah. work with each company. And, Brilliant. Yeah. So it's exciting for her. It's obviously sad because she has to pass down yeah. um, those titles, and I think we've drawn from missing. I'm not 100 sure, but no. yeah. So. so it sounds like you could well end up. An official fifth. <laughs> sure you might, yeah, maybe. Top five, which is even better. I mean, top five. Wow, superb. Okay, brilliant. So um, yeah, that's a shame for yeah, you know, you know. But hopefully you'll uh, you never know. Get something else out of it. So moving on from all that and uh, away from the uh, competition, um, still doing your radio show. I am, yes. Yeah, and how's that going? Because I hear you're actually interviewing people. Yes, I've had um, a good few phone interviews with different people um, who are owners of different various companies and every day it's a new thing I'm talking about. The other day I was talking about adoption and talking to a woman um, from an adoption agency there. Uh, the week before it was veganism. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, very random basis yeah. every single day of things to talk about. But it's interesting because you get to... You know, I obviously know, know a bit about veganism, for example, but um, when I was actually talking to this woman and she was explaining that just all the different things that you, know, you don't really think about, so it does open your eyes when you're having these conversations yeah. with all the different people. So it's, it's interesting, every day is different. So. Brilliant. So, uh, that, so that's still going along nicely, and um, I know that you've just had an interview about a TV presenting job. Maybe not mainline TV, but don't get too excited yet. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? And I know you're still waiting for the uh, yeah, outcome so of the interview. I've but. had like the first interview, which is more get to know you to see if you kind of fit for the role. Um, and that went really well, okay. So it's with Gemporia. It okay. used to be known as Gems TV. Um, so it's the jewellery shopping channel. Um, and yeah, I've got a screen test with them next Friday. So uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. Um, but even if I don't get it, it's a good experience yeah. to have like a screen test and interviews in, that, in the field that I want to work in. So um, either way, it's positive. Yeah. So yeah, fingers yeah. crossed I get it. But Straight down if you've been working there yourself, you were saying. Straight down. <laughs> uh, but you have to start somewhere. Yeah, with TV so we've all got to get up at, uh, what is it, something like 3 o'clock in the morning to see you or something? 3 a.m. till 7 a.m. if you'd like to catch me, <laughs> if I get it. <laughs> but, um, I'll set the alarm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get up, but um, it would, it, it's interesting. But um, yeah, obviously, yeah. you know, never done live no. television presenting, so you're not going to put on prime time television because you. It's more you learn in the role, um, yeah. so because I even asked like the training and experience and everything, and he was like, "Can I just learn as you go, really?" Because you know, if you can te if you can present, um, yeah. that's kind of the main thing, and then it's obviously learning about the jewelry and every single thing involved in it. So yeah. it's very interesting. It will be a really good experience if I do get it. So. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, well, 
fingers crossed for that. Hopefully, we'll hear a bit more about that. So, um, just moving on to a few other things. Um, Could you be helping us out while I was away? Which is very fun of you. We really appreciate it. You um, read the Libby May uh, Circus Ball weekend, which looked absolutely amazing. I was watching some of the videos you posted, but uh, the actual event itself. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Because I mean, they've just announced now what they've raised. If you want to carry on from there. Yeah, no, it was incredible. Like photos don't even do it justice. Like the photos look good, but it was, it was just the whole. Like it was down to details that really made the night, and you could tell the effort that went into it was just through the roof. So yeah, they ended up. They just I think they announced yesterday that it's just under twenty six thousand. Amazing, absolutely amazing. That's insane. I just I mean it's well deserved because yeah. they put their heart and soul into it, and it's yeah it was an incredible night, and there were some amazing performances throughout the night, and yeah it's the details really yeah. that's what made it really special. And it's really, it was Lovely night to be a part of, so yeah. very happy to be there. Yeah, because they had um, Alison Hammond from GMTV. Oh, she's so lovely. Absolutely lovely. She was amazing, and she, she was um, co-hosting with Dad Hale, who's on BBC, um, Dad Hale Live, and she was doing the interview. Okay, right. Um, and, yeah, no, they, they work so well together, but I'm a massive fan of Alison Hammond, I know, so yeah, I, I made think... sure I got that photo with her. Uh, yeah. yeah, she's <laughs> lovely. She's really, really good. And um, I understand, uh, I know there are a few celebs there, or minor celebs, whichever way you want to go. You <laughs> had uh, your lady from Low Island. Jess and Dom, I think it was, yes, from right. Island 2017. I haven't watched it no, in 2017. I've watched it this year, so if I did it from this year, I would have known. But, um, yeah, I know. I know they made, uh, made the Daily Mail, didn't they, all the press. And um, who was it, Dan somebody or other? Uh, Dan Osborne, who used to be in Tally. Yeah. Well, I don't watch Tally anymore. I know he is. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be a bit of a heartthrob at the moment, isn't he? He's so. a good looking guy. <laughs> He's a good looking guy. Well, I know the wife of uh, Oh, God, we're missing him. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so, yeah, that was a, a great night. I'm really, really upset that we had to miss it. And then the following day, I know uh, you and Lee, who was doing my photos for us, went to the wedding fair at St. Colfield. Uh, and that was another really good day. Yeah, the schools were really amazing. If I was planning a wedding, I would have been able to do it all in one day. Yeah. I was kind of sad I wasn't planning a wedding. Oh. <laughs> well, plenty of time for that. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm joking. <laughs> um, okay, and then we'll just do a little bit of self-promotion because uh, I know you're in the process of uh, talking about a charity dinner and hosting a charity dinner for a charity close to my heart. And, uh, I think most of you have done. That's uh, Chris Club Kampala. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, one? so we, not just me, we, <laughs> uh, yes, we are planning this lovely charity night next week and it's coming together really well, isn't it? It's really, really good. We've got We've had a few, uh, we've had a few <laughs> nervous well, moments to yeah, start with. But, but you always get them when yeah. I was planning my ball, it wasn't down until the last week and a half where like everything just started to come together and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. this is gonna work now. And, I think we're in the process of that, it's less than a week yeah. ago, but you know, we've almost sold out, we've yeah, got amazing raffle prizes and auction prizes there, and yeah. it's going to be good. And it's really, like, £25 for that menu is yeah. actually astonishing, it's good, it's, I can't where, wait, I'm so excited. Where are we? Where are we going to oh, be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would help. It would really, yeah. We're going to advertise it. Pan Ashes and Goldfield, yeah, right. which is my like all-time favourite restaurant. Even before anything to do with this charity event, it was kind of the only restaurant I kind of wanted to go yeah. to for Indian food. It's a it brilliant Indian restaurant. It's, it really it's the even like the food itself is something else, but the just the layout and the restaurant itself just it's the perfect place for our charity evening. So yeah. it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Neve, thanks again for joining us. Really lovely to see you again. And uh, all I can do is wish you all the best for uh, the uh, Jeff Boria job. Let's fingers crossed and hope it comes off. I know we've got a few more things lined up which hopefully you can help us out with, which will be amazing. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh,